So there I was, just sitting at work, thinking about what I was going to record. It was a pretty slow day today, so I had a lot of time to think. I hopped on Boom Beach, and this was the first time I logged on to my main account for the week, and I saw the tribes, Zuka damage, barrage damage, and it's also been a while since I had a chance to attack War Factory on a video. Boom. The brilliant idea hit me. We're going to try to defeat War Factory. We're not going to try. We are going to succeed attacking War Factory with only one boat Azukas. That's it. One boat Azukas, maybe a private bullet alongside, but as our only troop, one boat Azukas, let's get to work. So the more I look at this, the tougher of a challenge I think this will end up being. You know, War Factory, a lot of health, a lot of damage. But look at the defense placement here. So I'm thinking, I, at first I was thinking we're just going to try and do Smoky Zuka. I was like, no way that's going to work. Way too many shock bombs. We don't have enough GVE for that. And our Zukas are going to just sputter out and die. Um, and then I was like, all right, we'll just come and rush. And I was like, I don't know. These Simos, they're going to do a lot of damage. The shock blaster at the same time will probably tear out bullet. But I was like, nah, we can avoid the Simos. You can kind of see the range. If we come up this way, we can avoid them. And then I was like, boom, perfect. And then I was like, mm, I see the rocket launchers. These are awfully close. No chance we can get in a dead zone there. Ain't gonna work, but maybe we can bard it down after a few attacks. We have five attacks after all. And I was like, yeah, I think we'll do that. And then I looked over this glad i saw it because it would have surprised me this one grappler right here doesn't matter if it's a level one level three look at the range of this it is okay look at the range of this way too far we are gonna have to deal with the rocket launchers and the grapplers somehow and i think it'll end up being we're eventually gonna bar them all down but i don't know how much that's gonna take so let's go ahead and try this out um, I'm just gonna get uh, I'm gonna get our troops down right here So here we go get our bullet down get our zookas down and then right here We're gonna get a spicy shock bomb just so our zookas are free and we'll let that happen in the meantime um, So barrage damage is boosted in the tribes I already uh, went over that Oh my gosh that grappler went down way easier than I was expecting two barrages two artilleries looking good and we don't even have to deal with that right away but we are looking tough at our zookas right here get a med kit out we need to protect them and now this is where it might get a little bit sketchy let's go ahead get another shock right there bullets doing a good job still tanking for our zookas and honestly this battle is a success we'll go ahead get our grappler fully taken out now we only really have to deal with three rocket launchers and the rocket launchers i think they're gonna have way less health than the grappler i got three of them to take out so my hands will be full um but look at that first attack we got the spacing we need but i wish we could have taken out that doom cannon i guess it's gonna have to be um something we take out in the next battle but i saw an artillery did like nothing to it but let's go ahead get our creator code cosmic plugged in the mega crab is next week and that is when most of you guys buy the boosters for the month or some special diamonds so if you are one of them go ahead click that link in the second line of the description we really appreciate it i really am in an awkward spot here so i'm indecisive i want to go for that doom cannon and that would be great because then we, we still have four attacks left we want to go for like this cluster here because that's going to be problematic if we don't take out the shock launchers and shock blasters however let's go ahead and get this battle started we are first gonna go for um i guess it doesn't really matter which rocket launchers we go for let's start out throw two barrages down oh my goodness a barrage did almost half the health of the rocket launchers i am feeling good about this two barrages able to take them out let's go now i guess we might as well finish this one off so we'll throw one and then two artillery it might we, we might have to leave that up for the time being that is okay we want to have enough energy here for shock bombs 
and such. Let's go ahead, get our bullet down, we'll get our zookas down, and let's get a flare. I am in a horrible spot. We need to get a shock down right there. Oh, I think we lost a Zuka or two. All right, we're just going to have to power through it, get rid of that Doom Cannon, and then now we can overlap the shock onto the Seamos. I threw it a tad early, but the Seamo was starting to shoot, and it does an underrated amount of damage. And my goodness, we actually are not looking great for this battle because we only have three Zookas left. They somehow got picked off, but I am loving what our energy is doing to this but you know what that means this was a very quick attack and we only have three left after this Ooh, it is gonna be tight um i'm thinking about switching up my game plan though to give us more room we do not want to retrain all of our troops there that will just tempt us to throw down more troops we'll go only get the one boat um this could be a mistake it could be i will admit that but i kind of want to change it up and now attack it from the front we got the we got the left side taken out now we can come at it with the right side and since i know how much our, our barrages and artilleries did i did not expect them to do as much damage as they did now we have a bit more confidence in our troops so let's go ahead get our troops down and look at this we're gonna get some energy collect it and then what do i want to target so actually I'm gonna, no, let's go ahead and get a shock right here. But that shock launcher is gonna be a bit annoying. There's also some shock mines around it. So we're gonna throw a barrage and we will bart this one down since we have the energy to spare. I am very glad I looked at my troops. It is not looking good for them, but now it is time to turn our focus onto the Simos and the shock blasters because we know the Simos, they love to look right by Private Bullet and they will just go straight for my Zookas, and that is a big no-no for this. We need our Zookas to stay alive here, and I see a Mortar starting to fire. Good thing it's at the Critters. I forgot they can target Critters. I was like, no way it can re it, it can reach my Zookas, right? Right? And I was correct. There was no way it could actually reach the Zookas. One final shock onto the Simo. I think I almost missed that. I threw it very off of where I was kind of aiming but that's okay because we are going to take out the Simo and now we have a boom cannon to worry about we'll get a flare onto the boom cannon and look at this what was this my third attack maybe fourth attack I already forgot and we are going to be able to set up in a dead zone I think no the rocket launch or the the machine guns are actually able to target my zookas if we take out that one machine gun then we can get them in the dead spot i think if that mortar i i'm not sure the range on that mortar now they are in the dead zone bullet might not be there's one zooka that is in range of the mortar oh that mortar shell took out two and now the mortar will be firing at private bullet and it is a time battle now and we are gonna win that battle I am so happy for my troops. We were able to defeat War Factory with only one boat of Zookas. No thanks to you, Bullet, even though you are always the star of this show. But there is no way one boat of Zookas would have been able to do anything against this without a hero. But that's the point of heroes. Are they actually there? They don't cost money to retrain. They don't take time to retrain. Of course, you can upgrade them all that, but they're essentially a ghost that distracts defenses. Down goes War Factory. Gearheart, you thought, and I thought it was going to be difficult because you had, you had me. It was a little deceiving at first. I was like, there's not much protecting the HQ, and then there was the rocket launchers right next to it, the Simos, and the the grappler. Um, lastly, and not least, because that would have wrecked me. Even though we we decided we probably would have been out of range of that grappler when we adapted our game plan but that is boom beach for you you come with a plan it's okay to change the plan that should be worked into the plan but uh yeah that was us taking out war factory only one bodazookas you gals did great today oh i love the tri boost of that we'll just get um heavy zooka loaded up because that apparently i can't click load we keep clicking off so there is our heavy zooka loaded up and that is it thanks for making it to the end subscribe if you are new here we like to post daily boom beach content we really appreciate it we'll see you guys in tomorrow's boom beach video bye bye